Hey guys and welcome back to more Subnautica. We are going to take the seam off into the sand caves. Now this will be a short stream. It's a bit of an early stream because I have some things to do tonight. So um, we might only have this one stream, but I thought maybe a little bit is better than nothing. So um, where's our seam off? There we go. Actually, before we go, we're gonna have to sort out a little bit of food and a little bit of uh, drink. So I'm, if I remember, there we go. So let's try to do that first. See if we get any of the nice, lovely ones now. We got some peepers, but that's okay. So we're just gonna make some peepers. Hook them up. What? The whole point of the graph ball is to make this easier. <laughs> and they're still running away. It's a pity, pity we don't. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. It would be good. We have some bleach and some salt, but if we take some salt to the peepers. We should be able to preserve them a little bit. So let's head up to our Seamoth. Or to our little mini base here. It's not even a base, it's like just, I don't know. <laughs> so let's see, do we have actually any salt in here? We have no salt here and we have no salt here. So we're just gonna have to cook them and eat them and make a little bit of water here from the bladder fish. And then we're gonna cook two, three peepers. As long as we have water, it's okay because the food goes down on the, on the cooked fish, but the water kind of goes into the negative after a while, but that's okay. So we eat most of them anyway before we go. And we shouldn't stay too long. Yeah, we're gonna have to look at properly making some food that's not fish um, at some point. Okay, there we go, and we keep these two for here, and I'm gonna drink that small bit of water, and that should be enough. So let's do a little bit of a save, and then let's head out. We have the batteries, I believe. We have, yeah, power cell backups, we have battery backups. We have everything we need. We're actually kind of well prepared. That's very odd, it feels strange. Usually I'm not prepared at all. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, and here we go. This is gonna be scary. We're gonna go into the caves with the Seamoth, if possible. I think there's definitely big enough cave entrances. So that was the life pod and there's the cave system right nearby. We should be getting into the sandy area now. There we go. Nice. So yeah, sorry for the short notice. Uh, like I said, I, I forgot I had something to do tonight, so I decided to stream a bit earlier. And of course, I forgot something this morning that I had to do, so I couldn't start as early as I wanted to. At least if we bring down the Seamoth. How far can we bring the Seamoth down? Can we go as deep as... I think 200 is the limit, isn't it? Oh, crap. So we have to be very careful here. I think if we go below 200, we're gonna get issues. Warning. Yeah. Maximum okay. depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Yeah, they made the roof low, uh, high, low enough for us to have difficulties. But let's see if we can stay here. And at least at this height. Ah, crap. Warning, maximum depth yeah, reached. Know, know, know. Hull damage imminent. Okay, do you know what? We're gonna step out here. Or bring it back closer, back to the entrance. And at least we have the Seamoth label or logo there at least to... Icon, that's what I was looking for. We have the Seamoth icon at least here then to see where the exit is. Okay. So let's bring it a little bit in if we can. Okay. 
Let's leave it kind of here. Use the light this way and go out and repair it. Probably should have taken the propulsion cannon with me. Oh, there's definitely something right here. that I don't even know what we picked up now I got a bit scared there I got bitten in the ass oh scan something ah ah genie mark it, it holds on to you that is crazy okay it's not too dangerous, but... Come on... Did we scan it? There we go. Okay, bye-bye. Now, where's the Seamoth? Seamoth, Seamoth, there. Let's go back to the Seamoth quickly and then we're going to go back here because we're running out of oxygen. Unless we can go straight back in here. Okay. Is there anything in here? What did we pick up from there? I don't even know what we picked up. I completely missed that because I got such a fright. Anyway, now that I can sit here for a second, welcome to the stream, Ronald, how are you, Adam, Whiplash, been a while since I played this one, yes, how's the water, <laughs> I was going to say, not warm, I hope, um, uh, hi Fate, how are you, Jacqueline Hyde, welcome to the stream, so, oh, sorry, <sighs> now, um, there was something else, what did we actually pick up, we picked up a first aid kit out of there? Really? Crab snake. Okay. It's very, it's territorial. So the thing is, if you stay out of its way, it should probably leave you alone. Non identified. So jelly shroom, a membrane structure suggests vulnerability to predators, but evidence thereof is lacking. Let's do a quick save. Let's head back down here. Oh, there's something else that kept popping up to be scanned. It's probably just a small fish. Let's just ignore the small fish and come back to scan them in a second. But is there anything here that we missed? Because I saw a small pop up here as well for a scan, but that could have been just the, the grab snake. Oh, there's something in there, is it? Let me see. No. So this was just a med kit in there, possibly. Okay, so we have to go deeper. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's more, there's more. Nothing here to scan. No pad, but oh, there we go. We can scan that. Oh, there's a power cell? No. Might have. To, ah, okay, okay. I'm sorry. What happened? Genie Mac. Okay, I'm gonna go back. And um, we're going to have to see. We can only go to about 50%. So I might have to see if I can bring the Seamoth in more and then bring it up here so we can stay over the 200. And just get a little bit closer into that direction. It looks like we have to go down, but then can go back up. 
So let's try to do that. Yeah, stay above, stay above. There we go, good. So now we're right above this. As long as we can stay above the 200, we should be fine. Yeah, don't worry. I think we can go back up here. We can go back up here. We can go back up here. Give me a second. Give me a second. There we go. Okay. There's where the other thing is. Okay. So we can go down a little bit here. Okay, let's stay here with the Seamoth. That means we already increased our uh, possible. And let's do a repair. Okay, so we increased already the, the distance we can go. Uh, can you keep playing increase completed? What? Once completed. Um, I don't think so, because I think in the end, um, if I remember correctly, when we played it, you actually leave the planet. So uh, the, the, whole, the, the whole idea is that um, there is a huge story, you know, about what's going on on the planet. And um, if you, you scant yourself and you, you have some radiation, but you also are infected with, um, I think they call it a pathogen or something. It was an alien virus, basically. So you're gonna have to. We have to try to find a cure for it, like you know. And that kind of leads us through a whole story of uncovering what this planet is all about, you know, and and the story behind it. And in the end, you 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 have to try to escape because uh, not, there's nothing wrong with the planet, but you you you're, you're being rescued so there is a group coming so you need to actually try to get off the planet otherwise you will never get away from here so there is a actual story end to it but yeah you don't have to do the story you can literally just play here forever uh, if you want to now mind you though resources don't respawn and as far as I know, even the ones you can mine later, mining nodes for resources, they will eventually try out. So theoretically, you could not play this game infinitively forever. So the certain resources you will just run out of. Ethereal, how are you? Oh, yeah, inside we have to look inside the glowing shrooms. You're right. There's actually, um, I think some of them have monsters in it, but there also is something else in it. Oh, there's a creature. I guess it's a snake, I think. Let's see, is there anything else possibly in... Attacking my seamoth. I hope you're not. Anything to scan here on flora and fauna? Oh, there we go. Cave bush. Damage. Oh, you have Welcome some damage. Aboard, Captain. Probably have those critters attack you all the time, is it? Oh. Red Ward. So let's go beyond this 
contraption here and see if there's more we can find. There's definitely something here. I know there's like some kind of base down here. If I remember correctly, I just don't know how far out it is. There's another platform here. Oh, we got a battery, nice. Okay, can we bring our... Crap. Let me go back. Yeah, we are down nearly 50%, so we have to turn around. Um, stay away. I think what we need is an upgrade for our Seamoth. There is an upgrade we can make to get the Seamoth slightly deeper, but I don't think we have unlocked that yet. Actually, you have to check this direction as well. Yeah, I think all we need really is like get be able to get about 50 deeper. So let's see, do we have that unlocked already? That upgrade. Modifications, scanner room, scanner room upgrade. Yeah, we don't have upgrades unlocked yet. Okay, so again, we can go deeper beyond 200, but then we have to keep going up quickly and hopefully we have the headroom. Yeah, I don't see any upgrades here. Okay, we got the floodlights. And we got the alien egg. Yeah, we need to get those. Um, let's see. Okay, so if we go down and then back Warning. up immediately. Hull imminent. Okay, let's see. Come on. Up, 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 up. Okay, we're at 200. Oh, crap. Okay, that's not good. Quick, 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 quick. Up, 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 up. There we go. Oh! That was close. Come on, repair! Why? What are you doing? Why are you being a spa? Come on! The return trip is going to be painful. I think we're going to lose our Seamoth on the return trip also. never gonna get back out of here, am I? Okay. Let's do some repairs and then have another snoop around. I'm just gonna follow the edge here, really. Let's see. Fresh oxygen. Let's drink something. So this is the other platform. Let's keep going this direction where we have the wall to our right hand side. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes. Be careful with the spiny fish. Yes, the multi purpose room. Nice. Oh, come on, stop. Why does it do that? It's frustrating. It's like scary. You scan and then all of a sudden it stops and then it continues and then it stops and then it continues. Blueprint acquired. 
bad. Oh. Yes, what a Integrating new PDA data. New blueprint acquired. Oh, the noise. Oh no, I got I got hit. I got hit. I get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was Charlie. Okay, can we not listen to this now because I'm but losing I water? I've got to listen to it now in a second again. Well okay, let, let me go back to my Seamoth and get some fresh fish air first. Here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Yes. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Integrating new PDA data. But... I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says, understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old fashioned way, Observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Integrating new PDA data. So we have Bart Torgal's log number one. You see, I don't want to know. I don't want to listen to these out of order necessarily. That's the thing, you know. So I, th I think I'm just not gonna access the ones that I don't have the number for yet. Cave bush, and that's the red wart. Okay. Now we got a lot more blueprints unlocked so let's see what we got unlocked okay we have the multi-purpose room we have a large room which is going to be really handy that's where we can really start putting a lot of things in a multi-purpose room as well of course um classroom the large classroom dome oh this is nice and then the water filtration system and oh aerogel genie mac how do you make aerogel again i have to check that out Large room petition, so you can make your own walls. You have the doors. And then we have the desk and the swivel chair, yeah. And then we have some basic plant stuff here, plant shelf. But we don't have a farming thing yet. Battery charger, wiring kit, yeah. We're going to have to worry about that. So aerogel, is that already here? Aerogel, aerogel. No. So aerogel is something we don't know how to do yet. Uh, Wolfslick, how are you? I haven't watched much of this game, but I wanted to come for support. Hope you and your family have an amazing Christmas. Josh, thank you so much. Very much appreciate it. Um, I hope you're going to have a very good Christmas yourself. Um, Hugh, hook right wall, base the head. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so hook right wall, base ahead. head. Oh, there's a new exit above, so we might be able to get there. So let me actually see how high the walls are, and I might be able to bring my submarine in. My seam off, I guess. Oh, am I going in the wrong direction now? Hang on. I'm looking into the wrong direction, am I? I think so. Hang on. Crap. Yeah, this is where the entrance is, so I think I'm looking in the wrong direction. I'm supposed to be looking down there. Yeah. I think this is where we had to go, it was it? I 
completely got turned around now. I have no idea. Yes, that's that's it. Yeah. So let's see what depth do we have here if we go to the ceiling. Oh, brilliant. So this actually goes, like you said, there's an exit here. That is brilliant. So I'm going to bring the Seamoth around here first, uh, which means we also have less of a travel time to get back to the Seamoth. That's brilliant. So we're just going to have to really quickly rush through here, get in there, and then up, up, up to the 200. Here we go, here was nothing quick. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. Let me repair everything first. It keeps getting attacked, I think. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Take a small break. Repair it! Stop this nonsense where you constantly go on and off. Warning, maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. So let me see. There we go. Yes. And right above us should be the exit. Yes. Okay. So at least there's a exit, I think. So let's go and point the light right at the base. Let's go a little bit further down so we can give more light. There we go. That's a huge base. Okay. Excellent. What do we have here? Modification station? Oh, nice! Oh, that is brilliant! We need one more. Power cell charger fragment? That is amazing. So let's do the outside here first, I guess. Yes! Because this will allow us to put upgrades into our Seamoth, as far as I remember. Near blueprint acquired. A wall planter? Okay. Near blueprint acquired. A nuclear reactor? Okay. Thermal plant fragment? Genie, Mac. All these new things. Yeah, there's nothing in here. And was that the complete outside? I think so. These things here, I believe they're proper mining nodes here, these guys, but we need, I think we need the, um, oh, what is it called, the mech suit. There's like a mech suit you can build, and I think it has a drill arm, and you can actually go and drill for resources in it, which is pretty awesome. Okay, we are running out of juice, so... Okay, let's, oh! Observatory, nice. I love these, especially if you build like somewhere really scary. Be having an observatory is like amazing. Oh, nice. New blueprint acquired. Yeah, we're gonna have to step in there now. Be careful not to get the touchies. Right. I don't think there's anything there. Let's look down here first. Oh, 
Come on. There we go. Ultra high capacity tank. Nice. And a bed. Sweet. I think there's a PDA here somewhere. Yeah, there. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. We need to get out and not get the touchies done by those guys. There we go. Okay, <laughs> let's go back up, get some air, and then we have to go back in to look at the rest. But I'm running out of healing. Oh, my health is back. So let's have a look at the blueprints we unlocked. Ultra high capacity tank. Oh, lithium. Yeah, we're gonna need to go to the scary ass island um, soon to get lithium. Oh, the Cyclops, great. Yeah, we, we, we're not gonna go to the other islands unless we get the Cyclops first, I think. I'm not really sure. You see, I always kind of went to the islands prematurely. But I think the story kind of there is a eventually brings you to the island. Okay, we have to go back in. The, oh, there, what, oh, there's another PDA. Whoa! Integrating new PDA data. There's so much PDA data. Damn it! Can I kill those ticks? No. Oh, uh, yeah. Why don't you go right in there, you dingus? Oh, yes. Another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, so that was just a little bit. And then there is another one. Is that it? No. How do we get up to that middle section? <laughs> Oh, that was the middle section. Oh, okay. There was nothing else here. Okay, fine. Let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that was the middle section. I don't think I forgot anything. I don't see any more PDAs inside. But we're definitely going to have another snoop around the area. Just let me refresh on my oxygen. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay. I think we looked at everything in here. Let's just do one more look around. Especially in the surrounding vicinity. See if we can find anything else. Oh, radiation? Holy shit. No, 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 no. What the hell? Yeah, radiation is bad. So I think we got everything in here. There's no more PDAs left. We're going to have a look at all the PDAs now in a second. Oh, there's something more to scan. Where? What? What? Where did it pop up? There was something here popping up to scan. Was it a fish? Was it this guy? No. Oh, there 
go. There it is again. Spotlight. Ah, okay, good. Nice. Nothing else. Oh, there's a spotlight as well. Okay. Yeah, I think we now got everything here. Though I wouldn't be surprised if we still forgot something. Okay. So, let's see where we get to. Oh, radiation. That is not good. Why is there radiation? Am I very close to the... Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm very close to the ship. Holy shit, fuck, I'm way too close. I don't want to look, no. I don't want to be there. This is really deep down there. I don't want to... Nah, not interested. Holy crap, okay, that's just a environment thing yeah radiation means you're very close to the ship that's not good very scary it's uh, uh, anything near that ship is scary as balls Our little baby survived. Our little sea moth survived. Okay. Now we need food and drink. Um, let's quickly head over here to there to get our graph to eat some of these. Eating all of them should give us plenty of food and drink back. Um, we should be fine. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hey, A77, how are you? I hope you're doing well. The prawn suit, that's what it was called. Yes, the prawn suit. That is correct, yeah, completely um, forgot about that. We're gonna eat all of that mainly for the liquid and we only get three or four every time. So, let me see. There you go. And now we should have enough water. There we go. Nice. Okay. So, the chicken egg is going to go in here. Um, that's our radiation helmet. That's why we kept getting radiation poisoning. Um. Let's see where the game wants us to go next. There's plenty of places we can go next, but I just kind of want to see where the game pushes us towards to, if that makes sense. It's a pity we didn't get more of the thermal plant. Well, the thermal plant, actually, the nuclear plant would be nice, but um, the bioreactor, we needed a big room. So now we can actually make... We can make the bioreactor, which sorts out power, but... I would like the water filtration system, but for that we need aerogel, and for aerogel I think we need to go... Oh, I forgot the name. The mushroom zone, I believe. Yeah. But let's see if we get any more. Oh, the modification station, nice. Um, spotlight, nice. 
nuclear reactor, and thermal plant. So this one you need to plant near the volcanoes and stuff. So, okay, so let's actually listen to these. We have another log here. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. <laughs> But father won't let me leave the habitat. I like the voice acting. It's actually pretty cool. With this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. All right. I don't like listening to them out of order, but we might as well, just in case there's information in it that we need that will unlock another ping or something. These conniving corporate bourgeois, inbred, incompetent, self-absorbed jerks. All right. You say it how it is, girl. <laughs> hey, how's it so bad is even useful but i swear everything that comes out of his father's idiot face is a narcissistic lie he wants to stay in this cave his problem i'm the one doing the heavy lifting when sea monsters are hunting you you don't hide you hunt the sea monsters then you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters <laughs> keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you I'm going deeper. I'm gonna find what shot us down and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. <laughs> I started the prep work. The kids taught me how to make enameled glass. I've started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. <laughs> She's hilarious. So, the Degasi, that's the ship, I think. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. Oh, Degasi, I thought it was the ship's name. It's For enough money, she will. People always do. So that's the, so Marguerite is with the Degassis, but who was he talking to? Yeah, he's also talking. So yeah, I don't know. So it's two families, is it? You have the Degassis, and then you have the Torgals, and then you have Margaret, or something. That's that's a bit confusing. We're already two hundred meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. <laughs> and then we have Paul. You know what Maida told me today? 
She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne arm. Mina thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, They'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> All right, so uh, we need to make a compass so we know what one kilometer northeast is. So we basically have no other pings available to us. If you look at the pings, all of these we already visited. Oh, no, look at that. We actually got a ping for that. That is amazing. Okay, so we can turn these two off. And 500 meters, we can't go this deep yet. So we're going to need to start exploring and building until we can make the modifications required to the Seamoth to go 500 meters down. I think, actually, the Seamoth, I think the Seamoth can't reach it. We have to be able to get to the Cyclops. So I think we have to go and find the mushroom biome or something and just explore. I'm trying to not use existing knowledge where things are like i know where the islands are but i don't think the islands is the right place to go yet because eventually i think we get a ping to go to the island and i don't want to skip that necessarily so um what we need right now is some practical stuff we need to make a bigger base so uh, let's get all this and we need to start making uh, well forget more salt and we need to start making the chargers and uh, bigger rooms so it would be good to see if we can make one of those big boy rooms where we can start putting a lot of stuff in like the large room here oh that's plastil ingots oh hang on plastil ingots that's just 10 is that not just the 10 no that's titanium ingot yeah and then plastic ingot we need lithium so anything we need lithium for we can't make anything we need lithium for we can't make can we make a multi-purpose room yes we can so multi-purpose room then we can start putting a scanner room in and scan for lithium no lithium we can only scan for things that we have uncovered so that makes no sense so i would say let's make the multi-purpose room first so let's get more titanium then make the uh, where is it the battery charger Where's the charger now? Yeah, the battery charger. And power cells we can't do yet. Uh, modification station, computer chip, we need lead. We have lead. Diamonds, we don't have diamonds. Diamonds and lithium are kind of in the same area, I believe. So we can't do that yet. So yeah, a battery charger would be a next good step. Bioreactor. Bioreactor and we can't make the water filtration system yet. And the multi-purpose room. But that's just titanium. So, okay. Um it's dark outside, which is creepy, but we have to go. Welcome. 
aboard, Captain. So we're gonna have to get salt. So we're gonna have to go... I think... Yeah, this way. I think. Let me see. Yeah, alongside the ship to the front here. And then we can find some salt. And we explore here in the, into this general area here. Oh, there's something there. Oh, we're back in the red sand. I thought it was the other way, the red sand. Maybe it's on both sides. I don't know. What do we have? Okay, that will give us titanium. That's nice. some of those there's one more more titanium how much room do we have that's good oh is that not the one we already were at that was near the ship so the big ship is over there I think Let me just double check Trying to get my bearings without a compass is terrible, but I think the big ship is here. Yeah. And we already got everything here until we get the laser cutter. And for that we need materials we don't have yet. Oh shit, radiation too close, too close. Okay, let's head over here, this direction. There's some salt. Nice. That's exactly what I was looking for. This is very creepy. Here we go, here we go. Is that the glowing mushroom biome? Oh, crap. Yeah, so here we might find some new resources. I don't want to leave. It's so scary. It's like, I don't want to, I don't want to leave here. See, this is the proposed Degasi habitat. So, ow! These guys will wreck my Seamoth. So we have to see if we can... Let's go lower. Let's go deeper. What is that? Is that a diamond? Is it? Was it? No, I don't think so. No. Erosion patterns on the land masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. What is that? That looks like a structure. Oh my balls. Yes. Nice. Oh yes. A nutrious block. What is that? Yes! Cyclops engine fragment. Nice. 
shale chunk. Oh, this could be lithium. Yes. This looks like a diamond, does it? Oh, it's quartz, but it doesn't matter. Quartz is good. What do we have here? Oh, yes! More Cyclops engines. I love it. Okay, earthen coral tubes. He's infected. Thirty seconds. Okay, so let's actually repair the seam off. Excellent. Now we have a little bit of light. Natural light coming in as well. There's another container. Nutrient block, um, salt deposit, nice. We need that for drinks. Okay, we were just here, so let's have a look outside around here. There's more over there. Um, how much do we have left? 4%. Okay, do you know what? Let's change batteries. Can we scan this guy somehow? Data. Yeah, he had an infection. He doesn't look too good. Okay, so let's quickly go up here. There was um, more tech over there. Creature decoy, nice. Acquired. Okay, creature decoy, nice. Thirty seconds. And I have to have another good look around here to see that I didn't miss anything. And we need more lithium. Um, oh, Nathan, I, 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 the feeling I get when I'm playing it, I'm tense most of the time. Like, it should be as, as good as a workout. Um, let's see. More lithium. Oh, no, that wasn't lithium. That was lead. Yeah, we need lithium. So these are not the right outcrops for me to bang on. Oh, what is this? A prawn suit, nice! Leave me alone. Dude, back off. Stasis rifle, nice! Oh, this one, I remember this. The stasis rifle, it puts a bubble around them, and then they can't move, and you can just skedaddle away. That's actually pretty awesome. Okay, we need this. This is what we need. Gold. No, let's actually go a little deeper. Let's 
see if we can see something here on the Oberset Tunnel. Oh shit, I actually do think we're near the island. Remember yes. the materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Oh. Your current bill stands at 3 million credits. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you know, you know what I think about that though. Susan, you are funny. Susan has a sense of humor. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Sandy Levers. So we got a we got Susan with a great sense of humor here. Um, we got a new blueprint. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? There. A creature de decoy. So for that we need wiring kits. What is wiring kits again? Silver ores, okay. Okay, silver ores. Yeah, let's actually head over there. There was a We're nearly at two hundred, so we can't really go much deeper. But let me go over there. Because there was a bit of a tunnel area. I kind of want to be snooping around. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, don't be such a drama queen. I got you. It's okay. Yes. Lithium. Thank you. Oh, okay. Eh, no touchies. So that wasn't very exciting. Ah! There's another cave. Oh, what is that? Yes! A diamond. I think the Seamoth has some basic um, storage for a couple of slots. Or is that storage we have to build into it? I'm not really sure. I don't remember. Let me see. That's the upgrades, but I thought it had another slot on the other side for storage. Oh, I think it's a module you put in and then you get a storage module or something. Yeah, so oof, we're nearly out of space here. So let's actually see where we are. Let's go up. That's where our original. We're only 700 meters away. That's crazy. Oh, there's something there. Yeah, we're gonna check that out now in a second. Oh, look at that! Well, I didn't intentionally go there, but this is where we get lithium, so I don't think there's anything wrong with us going into that direction, specifically seeing that this is actually near where we have to go anyway. Uh, well, no, not really. Well, we, we're here now, so we might as well. Scan? Nope. 
detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Yes! Oh my god, look at that. Hey, buddy. Huh? Oh, yes. I remember these guys. Um, do we have... I, I don't know how much room they take up. Inventory full. Damn it. Yeah, that's the thing. Let me eat that and let me drop some... Drop. I think only one is needed to drop, and then I can do that, and I can eat them, don't I? Yes. Vital signs stabilizing. There you go. I can't wait to get into the whole farming part. Okay. Where's the stuff I dropped? Oh, usually the stuff you drop stays on the ground. Did they change it so it disappears after a while? Oh, okay, maybe they did. Okay. Back to basics, how are you? Bulbo trees are the best uh, thing to start with, like, for um, farming. Man, yeah, so we're basically we are the aliens on this planet, so That's right, you need the tables for this, that is crazy. Force field control terminal. Can't open the door. Oh purple tablet fragment. So creature decoy, stasis rifle, and purple tablet. This carbon based device is lighter than it looks and it features a symbol which resembles a U. Lit up in purple, despite an onboard power, uh, despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels, and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise copy of the device if needed. Okay, this device matches no known technology and is likely alien in nature. Well, alien to us, I guess. Cyclops, here we go. And what blueprint? Did we unlock the the tablet? Yes. For that we need iron cubes, which is not something you get quite easily. That is right. Okay, so we can't do anything with that. Let's head to the main cave. And again, if we're hungies, uh, we're just gonna go here, hit a bulbo tree, and yum yum yum. So oh. here we go. Why is there caves for everything? Oh, this is creepy as balls. Oh, we can scan something here. Not happening. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. 
There's always a cave somewhere. There's always something creepy and dark. Diamonds. I don't want diamonds. I want lithium. There we go. Nice. Okay, fair enough. Gold. Is that it? Is there nothing? Oh, lithium right on the wall. Pure lithium. Nice. We are full now, aren't we? Yeah. How much lithium do we need for what we need to build? So if we, oh, the thermal blade. Oh, that's just a survival knife and a battery. Awesome. Um, we have four lithium now. We can make an ultra high capacity tank. So we need lithium for that. We have that. Great. Actually, we have perfectly enough. So we're going to make the high capacity tank if we can. And what else did we need lithium for? Well, we can't come back here. We know now where the island is. So, well, kind of. Oh, ow, you little bastard. Oh, hey. Ugh. Makes me so uncomfortable. Captain. Okay, we're gonna go right back. Um, I can't even see anything. I'm not gonna look. Nope, we're gonna stay right here above ground. Yeah, beautiful above ground. Yeah, there you go. Not looking at anything down there. Don't care. Not happening. We're just in the shallows. Nope, it's not the terrifying depths of anything. Nope. Sorry, clonk. Yeah, we're gonna have to go and do a round now of, um, we, need to, we need to make a bigger base. We need um, to make at least one of those big rooms to put some stuff in and... We need to make the charges and everything. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. So let me see, can we make the big tank here? No. So we can't even make the big high capacity tank here. I think we need to make that in the modification station, so we can't even do that yet. Okay. Now, let me put the lithium away and the diamonds away. I think I forgot what we needed the diamond for, but whatever it was, at least I have it now. We have some salt, which is great. That's um, this is what we need for the water. Quartz, copper, gold. Silver. We have two silvers, so we can make one wiring kit. It's actually great. So we can make a wiring kit now. And we need some lube. There we go. There we go, wiring 
Kit. Yeah, we need another wiring kit, but I don't have any more silver. Okay. Yeah. So I don't think we need the biomass reactor yet. I don't think that's something we need, to be honest. Um, because power, we don't have an issue with power right now. We can just make more solar panels, um, which uh, should be much easier to make. So if I go with the builder here for a second. I think solar, pan uh, solar panels, yeah, that's just one copper and quartz. Yeah, 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 we're fine. So. Water filtration machine needs aerogel, which I can't do anyway. Bioreactor is, is not needed right now. Computer chip, that's what, we, yes, computer chip. It would be good to get a modification station going, but I think first we need to get the batteries charged. So we need a copper wire for that, and I don't have any copper. Oh, damn it. Okay, let's make the bigger rooms first, anyway. Okay, so where are we gonna go? This looks like we have loads of room over there, so let's build a connection. Okay. Emergency power only. There you go. Power restored. Why? All primary systems online. Why? That makes no sense. Oh, what's on the inside? Yeah, ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, there you go. That's the that's in the way. So, multi-purpose room. There we go. And now we can move this entrance over here. Actually, here we can probably go into this direction. So, work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Okay. So now here we have a lot of space. So now we can make in here the charger, the battery charger. Um, we need copper though for that, okay, so. Sandy, calm your ham. Stop, Jeannie Max, Sandy, there's nobody there. Um, let me put the batteries away. Make a little bit of room. Drink the water, actually. And yeah, we're gonna need to get more copper. Where's the tubes? Where's the tubes? Oh, they usually have them in the tubes this tube though and we need some more of this as well mainly copper 
There's a big tube. Damn it, this radiation is really getting annoying. One more copper. There we go. Nice. Oh, yes, give me more. Oxygen. Okay, how much copper do we have? Well, it would be good if we can get one or two more, to be honest. Um, constantly have... Copper is a pain in the ass. <laughs> copper is a real pain in the butt. Like, you need two copper to make anything, and it's... Oh, here we go. No, that's the wrong one, but I'm still gonna take it, because we might get some... Um, that means we got should we should get free sulfur now. Seeing that that little microbe microbe exploded. Shit, lost there. No, that's not exactly. I wanted the other hole there. There we go. Thank you. Crops. Anything here to scan? Yeah, mobile vehicle bay. We should get some titanium for that. Nice. Actually, I need to make some glass. I might as well go and get that um, quartz that they have here. So we have definitely enough copper now for a couple of those uh, wiring kits. Welcome aboard, Captain. So wiring kits.
So now we should be able to make the battery charger. Perfect space. Yeah, I never understood that, why you can't do that. And you have to waste, like, space on a wall. It would be so much handier if you could do that without wasting a whole wall. Okay, so now we can put in... Let's take all these batteries out. Let's take this one out. Fresh one in. Let's take the battery out of this. Take the battery out of that. So hopefully there will be enough. And we might make one more solar panel. And we take the battery out of that. Okay. 52%, 58%. So let's see if when we come back. Yeah, there we go. It's already gone up. 53%, 59 Okay, so... This is going up, which is nice. And we're gonna deconstruct that. And bring it over here. Let's see if that can go beside the door. No. But it can go right here. Nice. And let's go out and see if we can get another... Oh, of course, I have no power. Okay, so now that it's getting dark, I don't think the 150 will be enough to charge the whole batteries. Yeah, we're down to 10. And it's just about going up. But the batteries are charging, which is great. Okay, so uh, let's see what, what next. Um, we could, if we can make more wiring kits, more silver then um, actually let's not waste the power here let's go and convert the titanium the, sh the scrap into titanium in here it's free power oh yeah Bachmann how are you Jar lives Good morning to you as well. If you place a bed, go to sleep and we'll change, uh, recharge everything up. Do, can you actually go to sleep in a bed? I, I didn't realize there was a thing. I thought the bed was just a cosmetic thing. And um, what do we need for a bed? Oh yeah, we have that. Do we have any more messages? Playing pre-recorded distress call. 
This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. Ah, there we, we go. Group one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. There we go. Nice. Life pod 19, 300 meters. So that's something we can look at next. Absolutely. Fantastic. Um, so let's make that bed actually and have a look. And fiber mesh. There we go. What? Oh, glass, sorry, I thought it was quartz. Um. Yeah, we're gonna do that later. Ah, ah. Stupid Q. Oh my God, leave me alone. I didn't know you actually can sleep sleep. I forgot about that. And you wake up beautifully in the morning, I guess. Yeah, fully charged. So let's make some glass here. There we go, look at that, beautiful. Not scary at all. Um, yes, and our batteries are nearly fully charged. There we go. One more to go. Beautiful. And now if we take this and titanium, I think we can make the thermal plate. Oh, it's the modification station probably. We can make the thermal plate in. Yeah, we can't make the thermal plate here. But a laser cutter, we can make a laser cutter now. Okay. And then we can go back to that rack and we can open up the door. We have two diamonds, I think. Yes, so let's make the laser cutter. Nice. So now we can go back and open the door we couldn't get into before. We just need our radiation suit. Um, I know this is a rebreather, but we're not going that deep, so we're gonna put that on and put that in here. Okay, that's good. I think that's I'm happy with that. Okay. Oh yeah, drink. We need drink. Welcome aboard, Captain. Damn 
it, you little bastard. So if we go back here, over to this direction here, we should be able to find that wreck again where the where the where the closed door was in. And because we have the radiation helmet on again, we're fully covered, yeah, protected. So we can find it again. Was it on top of this? No, it, w it was deeper than that. Oh, the mushroom biome. Oh, we, we inadvertently found the mushroom biome. It's not what I was looking for, so that means our thing was probably on the other side of this. So the crash... crashed thing was probably... Yeah, we're in the radiation zone now. It was probably further back. Yeah, there is. Is that it? No. Oh shit! We're so close to this damn thing. I can't find this stupid crash site again. This is ridiculous. Now this is this is this is not right. It was probably further over here. Now that I can do a laser cutting, I can't find that silly crash site. That is so typical. That's why I should have always beacons with me. Oh, well, there's at least something we can scan. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yes, 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 I know. Now we're just gonna get some titanium for that. Oh, look at that it's like a little mini thing like a carrier container thing um, I haven't made the compass yet yeah um, and I also have made the more important thing yet which is the beacons I, I should never leave without a stupid beacon in my in my hand Okay, that was not very exciting. <gasps> Life pod. Quick. It's not the one we're looking for, but nonetheless. Oh, we already have been here, I think. Yeah, Life pod 6. Oh, here we go. That's what I was looking for. Nice. And this one has the side entrance here. Let's see. Ow. Here we go. And there's the locked door, I think, somewhere. noise I hate this noise 
Oh, what is this? No. Okay, we open this. There we go. Now we can open this door. Hey Strife, how are you? Yes. Oh, that's the high capacity, lightweight high capacity tank. New blueprint acquired. Propulsion cannon fragment. Okay, we already had that. Okay, let's do that in a second. Let's just go and get some air. Passing 100 meters. Yes. Oxygen efficiency. Oh, decreased. we already had that. Vehicle upgrade console. Nice. New blueprint acquired. Battery charger. Trolic acid. Modification station. We already know that. Propulsion cannon. We already knew that. Yeah. Yeah. How? Oh, we still have a lot of them. <laughs> I heard the noise and I wasn't sure what it was. Yeah, we're not gonna go all the way over there yet. No, 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 no. Uh, the Seamoth has lights, it's useful. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I love the sound design in Subnautica. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. There we go, very nice. And that's another full battery. Beautiful. Actually, we can use that to leave the batteries we don't take with us. Absolutely, there. Yeah. Um, yeah, there is a v you can play this in VR. Uh, I just don't have a VR set. I, my room that I'm playing is not big enough for VR. Um, oh, we picked up loads of water, actually. That's pretty cool.
Okay, why not? Let's head over there. Now we need some more silver, so if we can, we have to pick up more of those, these, no, not these outcrops, the other ones. We should be really picking these up as well as we come across them, because we always need copper. Nice, getting a double copper, sweet. Ah, triple copper would have been pushing it, I guess. Um, vehicle upgrade console, that's for when we have, yeah, the vehicle bay, the moon pool. Yeah, so the moon pool is something that we need at some point. So the bed we can take out. And take that out. I don't need that anymore. Okay, 20 recipes, holy shit. Yes, vehicle upgrade, nice. Oh man. So the Seamoth, we can upgrade that to go deeper very easily actually. So uh, MK1, what's about the MK2? Um, and we can make the perimeter defense if we have a uh, poly underline, but I don't have that yet. Engine efficiency module, hull reinforcement. Empty if you have chances before collision, eliminating damage under normal conditions. Nice. And here's the storage module I was talking about. I think that gives you four or six slots, which is really handy. Oh, the torpedoes. I didn't see those torpedoes before. I don't remember using them before. At least they're kind of new to me. So we have a lightweight, high capacity tank. Lighter build allows for enhanced maneuverability. But plus steel angles and then we have the ultra high capacity tank okay and here's the mk2 so for the mk2 we need an mk1 and enameled glass Ma magnetite genie mac yeah magnetite and ruby that's the next big thing yeah okay we did look at this i think Now, I actually, crap, I forgot something. Are we going near the radiated ship? No, we actually going near the island. So, um, if we're going deeper, I need, instead of, I need the rebreather. So, let me just quickly go back. Sorry about that, I made a balls of that. I, I, I shouldn't have taken the radiation Ah, do you know what? Screw it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I, we just have to breathe more if we uh, get below 100. Let's just go there. End of story. It doesn't matter. It's 300 meter depth. Oh, we can't actually go there yet. Shit. Oh, we still can explore the area as much as we can, though. And I can get resources, so all good. There we go. Silver. Oh, shit. Hello, cave. Yeah, let's go into the general area first. We can go up to 200 and then we can potentially go um, deeper. Where's my Seamoth? Crap, am I stupid? Where's my Seamoth? There.
Because we might find some more shipwrecks there as well. Or wreckage in general. Oh, that's just a laser cutter. Okay. So, where's the marker? Yeah. Oh, the volcanic area. Oh, my balls. Yes, the volcanic area. Let's see what outcrops we can find here. Why don't I like this? I hate everything about this. I don't like it. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, there's an outcrop. Is there no outcrops here at all? I don't want to be here. Biodiversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. Well, if there's low biodiversity, it means something is there to kill everything and eat it. But at least there's some crushed stuff. Okay. Alright. That is good. This is good. This is good. We can do a really quick skinny uh, skip and dip. Okay, let's do this. Thermal plant, nice. New blueprint acquired. Oh, that's a comm station. Front torpedo arm. Yeah, come on. Keep scanning it. You're looking at it. Come on. Stop wasting my oxygen doing this nonsense. You're looking right at it. That always scares me when you're scanning and it stops and scans and stops. I'm like, shit, is there something hitting me? Is there something on my body? Yes, moon pool fragment. Oh, you beauty. Oh, you beautiful beast. Command chair. I'm just ignoring that big, dark, gushing cliff thing. Just ignoring it. Moon pool? Yes! Did we unlock it fully? It's so dark. It's so dark. I don't like anything about it. Imagine you're just on your way to the Seamoth and behind the Seamoth this big pair of eyes shows up. I would absolutely crap myself. I would, I would just die in real life. That would just... I would just be dead. That would be my biggest fear in this game. <laughs> like, just all of a sudden there's this big body going behind where I have to go. And it's like, no, I can either sit here and drown or I can go to my sea moth and die. <laughs> the 
So we have the moon pool, which is lead, titanium ingots, and lubricant. Nice. Oh, this is going to be great because then we can make... Um, we have the resources for that. We definitely can access the resources for that. Um, which means we can then make the, the vehicle bay. Yeah, I have to make a compass. I do, I do have to make a compass. It's just I'd rather use the wiring kits for something else. You know... Oh, they're deep shrooms. Yeah, that's different. Okay, so where's the vehicle modification bay thing? So once we make the moon pool, um, thermal plant unlocked, we then can make the... We don't need to worry about the bioreactor yet. Uh, the vehicle upgrade. Oh, and for that we need a computer chip, which actually is copper wire tablet. So we have access to all these resources, so it's not a big deal. And then we want to make the MK1. We have that as well. And then we want to potentially make the MK2 straight away. With the, oh, we need the modification station for that. And the modification station, I don't think I can build yet. Let me just double check. Modification station. Oh, actually, yeah. Well, diamonds, yeah, so we probably can't do that. So let's do this first. And if we can do these things first, that would be brilliant, so. But let's make sure we have everything scanned. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Surely there's something to be scanned somewhere in here. Mm, okay. Oh, hello. <gasps> Shit, I see something. Ruby. Stop! Stop scanning it! Just scan the damn thing! You're doing that on purpose game to scare the shit out of me every single time. You do that so on purpose. Diamonds? No quartz. Okay. Shit, how am I gonna get out? Crap. Yeah, okay. Scary, 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 scary. Welcome aboard, Captain. The game does that on purpose. You, you're literally in the darkest place, scanning something right in front of your face, and the scanner goes, Oh, I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, gotta take your time. Computer said no. Screw you, game. Okay. So... Oh, there's more. Okay, there's more debris here. Let's see what we have here. I'm telling you, it's built into the code to do that shit. Oh, what is that? Grab the PDA. Make a noise that scares data. the big jeepers out of me. Is there anything to scan? I don't see anything scannable here. We have to leave, otherwise we drown. This is, makes me so uncomfortable, dude. Uh. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's get rid of all that. We have two more blueprints unlocked. A chair and a table. 
inventory, ruby, ruby, ruby. So this was the specimen with the infection, yeah. Bright green blisters are forming networks around the infect infection sites. Pathology suggests a waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin and uh, respiratory system. Underlying indications of genetic mutations, aggressive behavior, the bacterium itself is unlikely, unlike any so far recorded in human exploration. May be contagious, avoid, do not under any circumstances consume the flesh. Okay. A mobile battery powered LED light which provides low level lighting in this 360 degree area can be attached to most surfaces. Oh, that's cool. We could bring a couple of these along as we're going out. Moon pool. Nice. What else did we unlock? Aurora survivors. Life pod 19. Let's listen to that. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Life pod detached to okay. planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain? That was the crash of the Aurora. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't good. I wonder, there has to be some something more there. Let's see, we can go a little bit closer. So, tiny ship here. Just to make sure, we, we have to go back down there. Closer. Okay. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay, let's make sure there's nothing else we forgot. Sanity. Yeah, these guys, they just spit things at, at us. What is that? Lithium. Yes. Lithium. Nice. 30 I'm gonna go down there again in a second. I need I need to see if there's some lithium uh, and diamonds. So, oh, drink. There we go. Thank you. Don't have any food, but that's okay. Oh, am I going in the right direction? Yeah. Oh shit! Cave. Nice. Anything here? Oh, what is that? Power cell fragment? Oh, we already have that. Power cell charger. Oh, we didn't have that before. Oh, now we do. That's awesome. Totally worth it to come down here. What is that? PDA? No, that's just glowing light from a fish or something. <laughs> Quickly head up and then we can go back down. Oh, daylight, finally. We do one more trip down there. And hey, Kenny, how are you? So one more scary ass trip down there. And then we should hopefully have enough resources. Um, yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's mainly the lithium I'm after. Diamonds would be nice, but hey ho, can't have it all. Yeah, 
Yeah, besides that cave, let's have a little look into it a little bit. Just just a little bit. Um, oh, yes. Is there something in it? Oh, come on. Could we get there? How far could we get down? Shit, okay, 30 seconds. So we can go as far down as until we are at about 60-ish percent. So if we are at 70 air, 75 air, we should come back up. Okay, let's do it. Just to have a look. Just have a little look. Oh, okay, so we could actually go around. Okay, we went actually through a little tunnel, okay. I was worried there for a second that I couldn't find my sea moth again. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to come back here, obviously, at some point, because this is just crazy. And there's way more to explore, but we need to get way deeper for that. Yeah, there seems to be very little outcrops here as well, unless you go very, way deeper again. But here in the shallow, shallower side of this, uh, there's one. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Yeah, that was crazy, creepy, scary, especially when it's all dark. It's like so dark that your light can't even penetrate the darkness. That's just... Let's turn off the lights and we don't need them right now. We still need more silver though. So we need, we need, to, use, we need to gather more of those outcrops here. We need silver and not as much gold, but silver. Definitely not more silver. Just normal, Ugh, might as well. We get copper, I guess. Nice, two copper in a row, beautiful. So, where's the other stuff? There's sl the, the sandstones. Silver. Oh, did we already have that pot? Life pot seventeen. Oh yeah, it's this one. Yeah, we already have this one. Have this one. I cannot find any we're in the sand biome and we cannot find slick sandstone. That's just weird. That just feels so wrong. Oh there. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I don't want lead. I want silver. You plank. Give me silver. Hey Bob. Bob is taking it easy. Swimming across the planet. Oh, there's some more. No, you're the wrong stone. Yeah. Silver, nice. There's no 
this over here in the edges. I'm not going all the way down there. We're gonna, I'm not gonna find my way back out. Okay, how much room do we have left? Yeah, not a lot, so... Yeah. Oh, there was one more. On, silver. Yes. Okay, let's go. Um, is I I don't think the air tanks can be just swapped out. Uh, also, I don't want the room wasted. Uh, I, I was kind of thinking about bringing the two helmets, the radiated one and the rebreather one, but um, the radiation one, the rebreather, but giving up four slots, or six slots, is it? Yeah, giving up six slots, I don't know, or four slots, whatever it is. Um, it's a big sacrifice. I, when I have storage in my Seamoth or when I have the Cyclops, yeah, then you have more exchange, room for exchanging storage and items, so it's definitely different. But right now I need to collect as many resources as possible every time I go out, I guess. Um, so yeah, you could do both, you could do either, I guess. But the moon pool is definitely something I want to work towards. take this now and let's I guess why can I not connect it to oh there okay so you can't connect it to the diagonal ones Ooh, okay suppose that would have to do I need to go Yes, yes, come yam. It's okay. Missing quartz, is it? Oh, titanium. Okay. Oxygen. Welcome aboard, Captain.
So let's see. Um, loop plus steel ingots, okay. Oh shit! What? Ugh, I forgot about that. Ugh, yuck. Lithium and titanium. Seriously? Integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> oh, my bed is all wet now. Yeah, the reinforcements, yeah. Yeah, we can make one more. I need one more lithium. Okay, there we go. All right, 20.8. Yeah, I forgot about that because we used to have platforms and the platforms gave you stability, but they removed the platforms. So you just have these freestanding things and they all take stability away. So you have to make these reinforcements to increase whole integrity. Yeah, so you can't build just a massive base. Oh, there is the, there's the foundations. Let and titanium. Yeah, no. Dude, I didn't even see them. Lead titanium so if we just make four titanium out of that should be able to put platforms underneath which I think increases uh, the stability so let me see if I put a platform here There we go. And you can see now the legs of the of of the of the tube are gone and it's using this instead. So you can do the same here. See the way you have the sideways legs and everything. So if you put instead a platform there now where well wherever you can like here example let's let's move it a little bit more okay. can we put one here yeah. and then we put an adjacent one here if you want and then you can put all the solar power there for example things like that um, but the legs for the for this should disappear and I don't know if you can put another platform behind it 
to attach it. Well, I don't know why. Theoretically, we should be able to do that. There should be nothing in the way. Okay, let's take this out. Um, there we go. Of course, we need some more lead. Oh, one titanium. God damn, that titanium is really driving me up the wall. Titanium now. We have room for one more? Yeah. Beautiful. So now we have uh, plenty to make the moon pool as well, I think. So we picked up how many? Four, eight, sixteen. Yeah, we have plenty to... Um... I shall not go to the surface. I live underwater now. I just have to be fast enough to get back into my base. finish the construction oh god damn it Oxygen. I have to I forgot I have to scrap them yeah okay thought I could just do it on the fly that for stability yeah I... intake recommended. oh yeah we're gonna have to eat at some point as well but let's put yeah and we can put that here as well that's brilliant okay do we have two more lead let's do yeah let's actually do the lead as well then we have actually we do that later it doesn't matter so over here now we should have enough depth to put the moon pool so let's try it out Ah, oh, the lead. I had the lead and then I wasted it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Here we go. Bam. Moon pool done. And we still have 21.8 uh, structure, structural integrity. But now what we can do is... Welcome aboard, Captain. Here we go.
Basically, it's a parking spot, a spot huh? for a seamoth. After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Yes, we need food. Yeah, I'm gonna build actually, uh, it's a pity you have all these stupid legs like everywhere. I really wish that when you build the platforms they would just float but give you the same integrity. It just looks so ugly having all these legs everywhere. Yeah, we need food, so... Um, come on, the craft ball is supposed to make this easy! Um, I used the reinforcement here as well. Um, I actually had my base flooding right a second ago because I forgot about the whole reinforcement thing. So, um, yeah, let's, sorry, let's cook some food. Um, yeah, we need to eat. So now we need the modification station and for that we need copper wire which I actually have already built but we also need we need two copper wire we need one more copper wire one gold and two table cost samples for the chip and then we can make the modification station Vital signs stabilizing there you go. Okay, so um, yeah, we need we need aerogel at some point. Um, I think we get that in the mushroom biome. I'm not 100 percent certain. I know how to get there though, um, and we need to make some beacons. I need to start taking some beacons with me. But I think the first thing to do right now is to get that extra wire. There we go. Um, put this away and then get two more copper for some extra wire. Oh, we need only three, okay. So, let me see. Oh, we need one more plasteel ingot. Actually, this is, we need two class. Let me see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need two glass and I think that's it. Yes, okay. Oh, sorry, table coral. Oh, I can't look at the stupid recipe. Hang on. Computer chip. Some screens you can look at that. Some other screens you can't. It's, it's very annoying, the inconsistency of it. Um, Say no, free the mouse button. Ugh. Computer chip. Now I have to tag the computer chip as well because I keep forgetting what I need for it. It's just too much clutter. Too much clutter. Just let me free the mouse, you know. What do I need for aquarium, actually? Oh, two glasses as well. Come on, computer chip. The lack of search is desperate. Computer chip. Computer chip. Computer chip. Computer chip. Computer chip. Computer chip. Computer chip there. Um, yeah, t gold and tarot card. Okay, gold. Gold. And. Oh, we actually happen to have two. See? Good. Okay, computer chip. Done. Another copper wire. Done. head over here and put the oh the 
power set. Nice, we have the two mm, advanced wiring kit. We don't have that. Vehicle upgrade station um, goes into one of the walls, I guess. Um, yeah, let's put it here. I guess, can we put it somewhere here? No. So we get out here, so maybe we should put it here. Excellent. Okay. So we have here a special fabricator for the modules, which is great. And here we can do change the color of the Seamoth now and everything, which is great. So finally, name. Charlie. Of course it's gonna be Charlie. You all know it's gonna blow up at some point. Um, the base color, let's make it, um, wow, that, that is pretty heavy. <laughs> I mean, I like blue, but I won't ever see it really in the water. So I think making it yellow would probably be the best. So you, so you can actually see it. Interior definitely will be blue though. Um, a nice bright blue watery blue and the stripe on the side will be let me see where's the stripe what stripe are you talking about oh okay well it will also be blue a nice bright blue let me see ah, it doesn't look as blue as it does on the inside it looks more green I don't know why that is it's the same color There you go. Here's our upgrade slots. Um, now, can we make the two glass? And do we have 10 more ingots left? There we go. And then we need the two glass. Takes two quarts. There we go. And now we should be able to make the MK1 attachment so how do we make the mk1 i think it's in here isn't it yes beautiful what do we need actually for the extra space for that it's just lithium one lithium and three titanium okay so let's put that in there pop it in there we go now we can go deeper. I think we can go to 300 now. I, I don't know, is it fifth plus 50 or is it plus 100? I don't know. We'll see it in a second. And one lithium and three titanium. Nice. And now we can make the storage module as well. Um, power seems fine at the moment. Yeah, power is fine, yeah. So we don't need to worry about power so far. You see the way you have the bubbles from the water going through this? So I think the <laughs> you can see it's a graphical glitch. It's like it's like it, the moon pool is underwater, but the water is inside the moon pool. So you can see the bubbles coming out of the pool going through the air uh, sometimes. It's very it's very odd looking. Um, I mean, it is underwater, but it's supposed to have no water in here, obviously. So, but I think some of the effects, underwater effects, are still active in here. There you go. And now we have, if we just go into it now. All systems online. So right here, we now have the storage. And, oh, it's actually quite big. I like it. So we can put like anything spare in here, like a, sp like a spare tank we can take with us, but we can put like the batteries in here, for example, for the, for the, p the power cell, the spare power cell we can put in here, some uh, spare batteries. Okay, we want to probably change the battery now, but um, you have loads more room here, like things like uh, the repair tool, you don't always need that, or the laser cutter, you don't always need that, or the flashlight, things like that. So, or food and drink, you know, you can put that in there. And then let's see what's the depth. 300. Welcome yeah. aboard, Captain. 
and then we just go back here we get i think we get fully repaired here and uh fully charged so the 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 battery gets charged in here as well which is great so i think it gets charged yeah it is yeah sorry i just needed to double check all systems online come on take me take me in So now we can go back to the to the other cave with the crawlers and the, the crab crawlers and can get diamonds, things like that, or lithium. So we can get a lot of things more easily. I really thought it was a good idea to have a window there, but I don't I don't like this idea anymore. Yeah, sorry, not a fan. Not a fan of the window. Um make class ceiling. Oh, we can make alien containment. Nice. This is when we can pop the eggs. Um, this bioreactor is a big boy, so that would go in the middle of the room if we want to produce like power from from fish and stuff like that. I think it's fish you put in there. Um, that requires uh, the bed to be moved, though, I guess. So the next thing now is um, aerogel. We have to look at that. Let me see. Um, we have this now, so we can we can actually remove this. Whoops. So we can remove that. We still need to make a compass. We can remove the moon pool. Yeah, so just what we have left is the compass. And uh, we need a few beacons. Actually, let me make... Uh, can I make a beacon? Do I have one titanium left? Yeah. How big is the beacon? Oh, I love it. It's only one slot. That's brilliant. So that way we can craft a couple of them and take them with us and put a couple of them in the in the Seamoth as well. Um, let's change the battery out. Of here. There we go. Let's actually turn the light off. There we go. And now we can put that battery in there. Okay, good. All right, this is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, the window was a good idea at the time. Oh, my base is at the beginning. I, I haven't really looked for a good base spot. I just, this is just, um, you know, where we pretty much spawned in because we do need to be able to upgrade our Seamoth. There's no point going anywhere else, yeah. So we are still right at the start of, um, where we st where we landed but yeah we are going to have to make at least an what you call it an, an oxygen base or something or it would make sense to actually have multiple moon pools spread throughout the map so you can dock you can repair your ship uh, you see moth you can you know have a fabricator there get some food things like that but yeah right now it's just a very basic um oh, oh jesus Christ ugly looking base right where we started and um, yeah I'm just gonna put a couple of more foundations in to make that look normal um, but yeah I'm very happy with the moon pool now that was good progress and I think we can also get into the moon pool from here yeah there's a ladder here yeah welcome aboard captain Ah, thank you, Susan, for acknowledging my importance. Charlie is docked and fully charged. Anyway, um, people have done it, but only been to the void twice. Um, even possible without being destroyed. You should try it for science. <laughs> um, I think if you, you can make a base in, at any depth, I believe. The only difference is that you're going to need a lot more pressure is bigger I guess so you need a lot more of those reinforcements potentially um, yeah I need to make a compass yes um, but I don't do I have the two silvers actually let me see I have the two coppers yes I have the two silvers okay let's let's make the compass so we finally can actually get ourselves oriented orientated so let's do this let's do this and then 
do this. There you go. Good reminder. That's why I had it there. Um, and we don't need the compass anymore. There we go. So, um, the compass is in here now. So now you can see on the top, I have a compass. Which is perfect. So now I can put the beacons uh, around everywhere. So the one thing is, um, so this is where the island is. The island is southwest, actually, of my. Yeah, you are southeast. Oh, east, east, southeast. Okay. So avoid anything going to the east, I guess. Um, Sorry, we have to go, not this, this This is the wrong island I looked at. Uh, it's this one. This is where we get the lithium and the diamonds. So we have to go back to the, uh, back north for more resources, but we obviously are gonna need to make um, sure we're gonna check out the habitat first, but that's 500 down. So I wonder if the MK2 is something we need to make first. What, is, what, is the, what does the MK2 require? The MK2 is here. Come on, where's the MK2? It was further down though. Um, MK2. There. So the MK2, yeah, magnetite, we don't have that. So we can go only to the MK1 so far. And we still haven't unlocked the, the next big ship, isn't it? The, the Cyclops, yeah, we don't have that unlocked yet. So. Actually, that's lithium. That's excellent. So, uh, yeah, we get more lithium. We go we go there where we have to go, which is actually where we find a lot more lithium and diamonds. And we can't do that yet. Seamoth Sonar, dedicated system for detecting and displaying to them. Yeah, this would be good, but we can't do that. This this we can actually do. We just need the resources for that. So we're going to try to find resources for that and that next time. Because once we have the ultra high capacity tank and plus the 300 depth, we should be able to get to the uh, Degasi habitat. Okay, we have a message. See. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. Oh! It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay. I haven't been to the Aurora yet. No way. Nope, not happening. There's no reason for me to go to the Aurora. If I don't have to go, if I can play the whole game, not go into the Aurora, that's fine. That's so be it. Say it like this. I, I know I can go over to the Aurora. Yeah, and I know there's some goodies over there as well. This, uh, uh, yeah, but I kind of want to make sure the game sends me there. Yeah. So... If the game doesn't, if the game has no purpose of sending me there, then I don't need to go there. Yeah, um, I think so far all the blueprints we found, we found in the water. Yeah, so unless there is very, uh, and no, I already, I, I, I know, I have played through the game before, uh, OMG. So, but if if we can't finish the game to go to the Aurora. What I'm trying to, to work out is how does the game make you aware that you should go there? Because yeah, it's a big thing. It's, you, it's right there and you should probably swim over there, yeah? But theoretically, what's the point? Yeah, if you don't know you need to go over there, why would you go over there? It's on fire, it's broken. There's like, there's, you know, there's nothing useful right now that you need where you would say, huh, maybe I should try the Aurora. Maybe I can find it there. So I want to get to the point in the story where 
you need something that is indicated to be only obtainable in the Aurora. You know what I mean? So because, it, like, I played the game before, and yes, if I start the game straight away, I go to this island, then I go to this island, I straight away get the mid-game resources. There's so much you can do straight from the beginning if you know. And I can go over here as well, avoid the big titan water creature. Yeah, you can do all that, absolutely, yeah. But uh, like I said, I want to kind of try to see where does the game force you to go you know, in the correct order of things. And it's, uh, because I never really played it like that. I always kind of knew where everything was, you know. So, but anyway, um, yeah, we, I need to worry about food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to leave the stream here. So um, the sunbeam will arrive in 37 minutes, so we still have time. Um, that timer will stop when you're not playing, and I will just con uh, collect more food. Once the, s the timer goes down, you kind of, I guess we can escape the planet. I guess <laughs> and we're gonna go over there and meet the Aurora and uh, as it's landing for us so and then the game is over well for anybody who doesn't know the game that's when the game is over for anybody who knows the game they know they know, they know more than that um, big ship uh, gives curiosity gives kids a cut exactly yeah so um, anyway I'm gonna leave it here guys I I'm, I'm probably won't be back tonight because that's why I stream now because I actually have to go um, so thank you very much and um, i see you guys later and i see you guys tomorrow actually and happy holidays to you as well see, oh, actually tomorrow it's the 24th yeah i can probably see you tomorrow because we celebrate on the 25th so um thank you very much and stay safe bye bye